Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to make a tag with you because I was tagged by Wendy from One Way Creations in the Tag Your Turn um, that's hosted by the Paper Monkey. So thank you so much, Wendy. Uh, I'm excited to uh, create a tag with you. Of course, I'm going to do a fabric tag because fabric is my first love. And of course, we're going to do it shabby chic because I don't know how to do any other way. <laughs> But I would like to go ahead and tag my friend Julie at Paper Play with Julie K. Um, tag your turn, girl. So I look forward to seeing what my friend Julie uh, creates too. So I just sewed together a fabric tag. It has felt in the middle. Um, I just went ahead and did that beforehand because it's very hard for me to sew and film. So I don't, I I don't do it. Maybe at some point, but it's really uh, not. I can't get the the uh, camera angle on that just right and I'm actually going to use this little fabric patch that I created out of the pink parfait cafe uh, ephemera kit from ooh la la vintage treasures and I will of course put a link to uh, ooh la la vintage treasures on Etsy below in my description box and I love this key it's so beautiful and it has pearls and I stickled up the key and it's just gorgeous so that is going to be the centerpiece of my tag but of course I'm going to do a lot of layering up because I love all the layers and this little guy right here is layered up with cheesecloth and then um, this cute little uh, heart tool fabric I get from Angel Dream Crafts and I will put a link to Angel Dream Crafts below also because I'm using all of her laces and embellishments on this beautiful little fabric tag. So um, I know I want to start my layer I think with this beautiful lace that I just recently got gifted to me. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. It's actually a big a nice big piece like this and I just cut off a piece that would fit and I think I want the scallops at the top and I cut it just a little bit bigger than the tag because I feel like the more shabby bits hanging off honestly the better I love it <laughs> and of course I want to add some cheesecloth and I'm going to go with this pink cheesecloth that I'm sure I got from Hobby Lobby and it's big too I don't know if I'm going to trim some of that off but I'm going to kind of just go with it and see how I like it and then I'm going to use another piece of that heart tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts right there. And so I don't usually glue these bits down. Um, I like to sew them down, but if I'm not going to sew them down, I'll wait and just when I glue on some of the other embellishments, I'll use it to hold my base layers in place. And I have this little uh, scrap left of this gorgeous lace from Angel Dream Crafts, and it's not even straight, but I thought it was just going to be cute right in the middle. And my hands are so dry, y'all, that the lace is sticking to them. My goodness gracious. Winter in Maine is brutal on the skin, and I am so um, envious of all of you who are celebrating spring. It's still snowing here. <laughs> in Maine. It snowed this morning. It snowed this weekend. It's still winter here. Winter here is is long, but I am hopeful. I did start some seeds for my garden, so I am garden dreaming. Yeah, I'm so ready. So ready for it. So I think on the bottom I would like to add a dangle, and I'm just going to use this little dangle from Angel Dream Crafts, and um, I just think that'll look so nice along the bottom, and I am going to glue that down. I think I'm only going to put one layer. Sometimes I like to put two, but I think for this one, I'm just going to put one and glue it right there. You know what? Let me get out my finger protectors before we get started so I don't burn myself in the process. I just rearranged and organized my craft room. So of course I can't find anything. But I'm very excited about the new layout. And uh, now I'm right in front of the window, so I have some amazing lighting. So I'm excited about that too. So I love that. And now I think I want to go ahead and glue this on and then add the bits around it. So 
when I glue this, it'll just seep through everything and hold all of this in place. So that's what we're gonna do. It's so cute. I love this kit. Doreen has some beautiful kits, but some, uh, for some reason my heart is in love with the Pink Parfait Cafe. Uh, I love them all, but I keep coming back to this one. It's just such a pretty, pretty kit. And that tie, if I do say so myself, is already adorable. But we're not done yet. I wonder, uh, I have the pink pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts, and I almost want to put it on top of the dangle. Yeah, I really do. I love the shabbiness and softness this tool trim adds to everything so I usually put it on things I might as well put it on this one too <laughs> oh it's so cute so cute oh my gosh loving it okay now I have got out my angel dream crafts bridal trims in white and pink and I think that's what I want to do. I want this big flower out of here, though. So let me snippity snip that out. And I just love using bridal trim. <laughs> it's just so pretty, and it's sequins and gorgeousness, and I love it. Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to put that right there because... I want to put one of these shabby rosettes on top of it. I love these little tiny shabby rosettes. I just want to stick them on everything, right? Because it's so cute. Okay, I'm really liking that, so I'm going to go with it. Okay. I took my finger protector off. Goodness gracious. And then I'm just going to pop that right there. It's just so cute. So on this tag, I'm using a lot of different shades of pink, which that doesn't always work, but it seems to work with her digitals so well. So we're just going to go with it. Um, this is a one I already snippety snipped off. Do I want to put that there? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I have this piece that I, uh, it's one of the last pieces I have from an applique from Angel Dream Crafts. I kind of like it, but do I like it enough to put it? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that sitting there while I work on some other bits. Kind of might need to cut off some more. I also have this applique from Angel Dream Crafts that has some great bits. I mean, this was a huge applique, and I've just been sniffing at it and sniffing at it. But I kind of don't want to cover up all the things. Mm -hmm. Like all the things. Decisions, decisions. just so cute. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, I just sometimes can't make up my mind. That's the truth. Oh, I do have this white piece. That it could be cute. Kind of on the side, maybe. Can I use, let me get some of the pink. I feel like I need to add some pink in here. Decide where I want to cut it. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to get used to my new camera angle too, so it's a whole thing. And I'm not sold on this camera angle, so y'all let me know what you think. I think. Maybe I'm gonna tuck that in and come up the side. No, I don't like it. I don't want to do that. Okay. 
I do want to keep it simple. I just wish that was bigger. Maybe I don't have any of the big flowers left on the pink applique, goodness gracious. Mm. Okay. Maybe I do want to do one of these then. Call them back to this guy. You know what? I think if I, if this wasn't that big, we could cut that a little bit smaller. And I think I'll be happier about it. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, let's see what else we're going to do. So I would like to use this, but I'm going to put a bow on the top, of course. So I just can't make up my mind. You know what? I want a little bit of this, just not the whole thing. Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Decision has been made. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like that. Now I can do this again. Oh, my gosh, y'all. That is just ah, adorable. So do I want any of the other set pieces? Let me see. Where is this bow I made? I made a bow out of the, um, I believe it's ballet slipper, sorry, silk from Kim's shop. And it's definitely a different shade of pink, but I kind of like all the different shades going on on this particular tag. I just think it's pretty. Um, this isn't actually sorry silk. What is it? Or maybe it is, but it's like really... Look at that. I love the texture. All right, so let me go ahead and put this where it's going. Then I can figure out what else I'm gonna do here. Okay, he's moving up here in a second, so that's okay. I like to leave my tails long until I get it where it's gonna go, and then I can decide what I wanna do with that. And I think for the middle bling, I'm going to use one of these I like to call the sugar hearts <laughs> from Angel Dream Crafts. And I'm going to use the white one. Oh, it's just so cute. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. Oh, pardon my phone. I forgot to turn the sound down. Oh, it's so cute though. It's so cute. Okay, do I want to put the little flower? Yes, I most certainly do. Let's see if I can get it glued on. Like right there. And, okay, where is it? All right, so on this bulb pin, which you can get bulb pins at Angel Dream Crafts, this is my favorite charm right now from angel dream crafts it's enameled charm oh my camera though it just doesn't want to focus it's so cute it's the pink um heart locket with the key wow and i'm sorry it just will not focus on that but it's so cute and i was like it has to has to has to go on this tag so i am going to dangle it off on the side right there let's see what that looks like <laughs> yes that's adorable and let's see you know what I am not actually liking the sugar heart right there let me see if I can get it off see if we can put something else there the two hat pennies <laughs> how cute is that I could just dangle that from a Bulb pin, that's also from Angel Dream Crafts. Or I could put, oh, actually, oh, I kind of like this, just that. This is also from Angel Dream Crafts. They're little resin flowers with a rhinestone. I like it. I'm going to use it. I think it's so sweet right there. 
Oh yeah, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, so that was so fun and so quick. And so thank you for the tag. And um, I hope you enjoyed everyone. I would love you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of my cute little fabric tag. And uh, leave me a thumbs up. And um, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.